The Eightfold Path is organized into three fundamental aspects. These are virtue or ethics, known as sila, concentration, or samadhi, and wisdom, known as panjna. Here in the Ten Paramis, we see some of the same qualities show up, beginning with sila again. This is because the Ten Paramis was a later formulation, and teachers recognized that a list of the most fundamental human virtues needed to begin with sila, or morality itself, as the foundational prerequisite. Now, like all the selfless virtues, sila requires development. In the Tibetan tradition, the suttas describe a simile involving Himalayan mountain yaks. It's said that these mountain yaks have very long tails that serve them well at persistently whisking away the perpetual torment of pesky insects like flies. According to the analogy, if there is ever an accident in which a yak were to get, its tail stuck in something like a thorn bush, it will not break or shred away from it as an attempt to free itself. So the meaning of this is that virtue is such a necessary mental quality that without it, we would be perpetually tormented by the constant nagging of negative mental qualities and worse, useless as a race. So without sila, we may as well give up like a mountain yak who has gotten their tail stuck in a shrub. Similar to what I explained about the previous paramita, dana or generosity, all the virtues are universal conscious traits. They are not relative to any specific time, place, or culture. They are absolute. So to have the integrity and ethics to maintain virtue is to follow the superior laws of nature that allow entire civilizations and world systems to develop and thrive. Without a foundation in cosmic virtues, it is inevitable that every government system and society on any planet or galaxy will rapidly deteriorate and devolve into more and more disorderly, complicated, and dysfunctional ways of life until finally the whole economy and civilization collapses, leaving the majority of people out of work, in poverty, sick, or dead. The lack of virtue is what leads nations to violence, war, separation, and discrimination, such as racism and sexism, cheating and lying in both the professional world and personal life, slavery, exploitation, and the abuse of sex in the form of lust and perverted things like prostitution, human trafficking, pornography, and so on. The development of virtue requires comprehension and the observation of precepts. We have to reflect and recognize the causes and effects that virtue and ethics, or the lack thereof, have on societies and cultures. If we sincerely look at how we behave, then we can begin to understand how preserving a moral standard makes a difference to our well-being and evolution. This comprehension convinces us to make the necessary changes, which are not only to cultivate the paramis, but to also eliminate negativity, both in action and in thought. And these primary negative qualities also have their own lists, one of them being the five hindrances, and another being the five precepts.